What's up everybody, Jared here with CarBuzz.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the 2022 GMC Sierra AT4X. The X stands for extremely luxurious. So this is a new trim level of the GMC Sierra for the 2022 model year. It is the most off-road capable version of the Sierra. There's also going to be an AEV, American Expedition Vehicles version of the AT4X. And basically what they've done is they've built upon their very popular AT4 trim level, which people are buying in droves. And the X essentially adds a lot of the luxury features that you would expect from the Denali. I should also mention that also new for the 2022 model year on the Sierra is a new Denali Ultimate trim the most luxurious Sierra ever. Uh, this misses out on a few features that you're gonna get in the Denali Ultimate, mainly Super Cruise, the hands-free driving technology, but this is still a really, really cool luxury loaded up truck, um, and it is much more off-road capable than that Denali Ultimate. So let's be sure to check it out. So let's talk about the grill. We have this really nice sort of uh, dark chromey grill with like these black inserts. We've got the red GMC logo real big. You've got AT4 listed here with the AT4X with the little X logo down there. We've got some really nice red tow hooks down here. Those are practical as well. We've got good ground clearance as well. Our tires are Goodyear Wranglers. They're a little under, uh, they're a little over 32 inches. Uh, we've got 18 inch black wheels. I love the way that the black wheels look on this. It's just a super aggressive, super cool look. We've also got GM's new uh, spool valve dampers, the same ones that you get on the Chevy Silverado ZR2. We'll talk a little bit more about those when we get it out on the road. We've got plastic uh, fenders here, but you can also get these painted if you want. I would probably leave them in plastic. This is an off-road truck after all. You don't want too many painted surfaces. We have our badge here letting us know that we have a 6.2 liter V8. That's the standard and only engine option here on the AT4X. Right down here, we have another badge letting us know that we have the AT4X. We have a rock rail here. You can get uh, running boards if you want. The rock rail makes it a little difficult to get in and out of this truck because we do have a suspension lift, 50 millimeters in the front, 25 millimeters in the rear. So this is a rather tall vehicle. As you can see, we have the uh, full crew cab body style so we've got the big doors in the back with a short bed so this is about six foot bed so it's the smallest bed option that you can get on the sierra this is the only way that you can get an at4x and you really wouldn't want a long bed on this type of off-road truck it's just going to hurt your uh, departure angle uh, by having so much more overhang over the rear wheel so this is probably the configuration that you'd want it's the same configuration that you're really going to get on a t-rex or a raptor as well those are also off-road vehicles here at the back let's talk about the bed because although it is the short bed GMC claims that their bed with the way that they've pushed everything out wide is going to give you the most storage space I believe it's 63.9 cubic feet of space in that bed so more than when you're what you're gonna get from Ram Ford, Toyota, anybody with a similar size bed. We've got some bed steps here, so you can very quickly just put your foot on it, grab something out of the bed here, or we can use GMC's Multi-Pro tailgate, which we have optional here. So I've shown you this before in previous videos, but I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it again. We have two buttons here on the tailgate. So the first button is going to drop the tailgate down. Normally, we have our AT4X logo, there in front of the bed. We also have some bed lighting. We've got our little outlet in here. We also have a little handle that we can pop up to make it a little easier getting up on that side step. Now, what you can do is you can lift up this piece here. Now we have a built-in bed stop. So this is one of the six configurations. I've actually shown you two down is one. This is also a configuration. So now if you have something long, it's not going to go out of the bed because of this nice bed stop. This doubles as a step as well. So if I go ahead and click that second button down here, this piece is going to drop. Now this configuration allows me to get a little bit closer to whatever I'm trying to get out of the bed. So that's a little bit useful. You can see that is a nice little gap there. And now if I use that same bed stop, I now have a handy place to put my foot. 
I can grab onto this handle and I can very easily get up into the AT4X's bed. And you might also notice that we have some speakers built in here. This is a kicker audio system. You can Bluetooth your phone to this or you can plug in via a USB or an aux jack. So this is a really cool feature. If you're at a tailgate and you want to play some music, you don't want to run uh, the battery down on the inside of the truck and keep the engine running or whatever, you can do it right back from here. It's very loud. I think the one in the Honda Ridgeline is maybe a little bit louder, but it is still a really cool feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this all the way up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click this top portion. So now what I can do is lower just this portion. So let's just say you have something that you need to kind of hang out that's tall. You can have this up or you can do the same thing, but you can have the bed stop. So you can have just something extended a little bit out. So it's a pretty uh, complex tailgate. It's one of the, the most advanced that you're going to really see on any truck. Uh, it's pretty useful. I would say it depends on how you're going to use the truck, but I think it's a rather neat option uh, if you want it. So let's check out the back seat on the AT4X. Again, we have the crew cab model here. We're gonna get our first look at the interior. Plenty of legroom. I think that the Ram and the F-150 are a little bit bigger, but this is still a massive, massive truck. We have heated seats back here with air vents. We have a USB and a USB-C. We have our cup holders here. We've also got uh, some more cup holders here in the armrest. I've got plenty of space in all of the seats as well. Uh, although this middle seat is a little uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> this. Uh, this bump is a little bit un uncomfortable there on my back. These don't offer as much adjustment as you get in the Ram. The Ram has a little slider here where you could pull this seat bottom out and recline a little bit more. This is kind of just fixed upright, but it's not uncomfortable in its Bates position. We also have some storage hidden in the seat as well. So you go ahead and lift this little cushion. You've got a little storage in there. That's perfect for like a gun or something like that. You can also lift up the seats as well and you have a little bit of storage underneath the seat here as well. No panoramic roof, only a standard sunroof here on the Sierra AT4. You can't get a panoramic roof like you can on the F-150, unfortunately. Now I've mentioned that getting up into this truck is a little complicated if you don't have the running boards. You can kind of put your foot on this uh, rail, but that's not really what it's for. We've got our little splash screen that's going to fire up when we start the AT4X. It's really cool. You kind of have a mountain and then you have AT4 and then here on the screen you have this GMC logo. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and start her up. We've got our typical GM chimes. So the last time I reviewed a GMC Sierra, it was a Denali trim, which is like, was before this Denali Ultimate, the most luxurious version of the Sierra that you could get. And I was kind of disappointed with the interior for how expensive it was. The interior felt like it was a generation old. They really didn't change it from the last generation Sierra. This is completely new. It is completely updated. And I'm so happy that GMC has gone from probably the worst interior of any full-size truck to one of the best. So we've got to start by talking about this um, 13.4 inch diagonal infotainment system. This is the optional system. So if you go on one of the lower trims, like the base trim of a Sierra for 2022, it looks the same as the pre-facelift model, but the upper trims all get this really nice screen. This is powered by Android Automotive, meaning that we have like Google Maps and everything built in here. So as you can see, when I pull up the navigation, this is Google Maps. Uh, which is really cool. I have to review my privacy settings. Um, I actually didn't have this all like set up before, but GM hooked me up, so now it all works. So very quick, very responsive maps. Let me see if I can focus that in on there for you. So this works exactly like it would on your phone. You can input voice commands. You can have all of your information saved via your Google account. We also have the Google Assistant, which is fantastic. So let me show you how that works. Hey Google, tell me a joke. stayed up all night trying to figure out where the sun went then it dawned on me see how quick that was it was really really cool obviously you can do more than just ask it a joke you can say hey google what's the square root of 64 the square root of 64 is 8 
Yep. So you can pretty much ask it anything that you would ask Google at home, which is really cool. Um, I love this feature. I love this functionality and it works really well. We do have wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay as well if you don't want to use the GMC integrated system, but I think this works really well. So I'm very, very pleased with this. Also, we have a new shifter design. This is like an electronic shifter. When you put it into reverse, you're going to see some amazing camera angles on this truck. We've got our rear view now. You can also have a front view. You can have like a top down hood view. Uh, same thing out in the back for the bed. I love this camera angle. So the fronts, you can see those front tires so you can make sure you're not hitting any rocks while you're off-road. You can do the same on the rear. It's slightly a lower resolution camera on the rear. I'm not really sure why. You also have your tow hitch view and you have a bunch of different towing angles as well, which is very, very useful. We also have a digital gauge cluster. Uh, this is a 12.3 inch diagonal touchscreen, um, so we have some useful features there. You can pretty much uh, just use this like you would like a normal screen, but it is nice and high tech that you have a digital screen. There is also a uh, head up display as well that is very large. Go ahead and zoom in on that for you. That is a nice feature as well. I'm really liking that. In terms of materials, we've got really nice leather on the steering wheel. We've got nice leather here on the dash. You can see this white stitching here that kind of goes along it. We have some white stitching there as well. These seats are fantastic. So we've got some red stitching here. We've got kind of this unique pattern here. Uh, we also have some of that on the doors as well. We've got our AT4X badges right here as well, and I'm liking this white piping. These seats are heated, ventilated, and they have massage function as well. So if I hit the button on my seat, you'll be able to see all of the different massage functions. It's a little slow to pull up the first time, uh, but then it is faster after that. Uh, so we have roll, knead, wave, relief, glide. So a bunch of different massage functions that do work very well. I'm very impressed with that. We have a 12 speaker Bose audio system that I am more impressed with than I typically am from Bose. I'm usually not a big fan of Bose systems. We also have a suede headliner that adds to the overall luxury of this truck. I gotta say, this is the biggest improvement of the Sierra. I'm so happy that the, that GM went through and overhauled this in, in this interior. Now, before we get it on the out on the road, I'll talk a little bit about the drive modes and such. So over here, we've got our four uh, four wheel drive controls. We have two wheel drive rear, obviously. Uh, we have our auto mode, so you can like have it automatically kick on the front tires as necessary. Four wheel high, uh, four wheel low as well. This is really just gonna switch you from off-road mode to terrain mode and normal mode. And pretty much that's what you get. Down here, you do have your hill descent control and you have your front and rear diff lockers. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get to play with those in this video, but I just wanted to let you know that they are all there should you want to take the AT4X off-roading. All right, now it's time to get the Sierra AT4X out on the road where I wasn't expecting this to be too much different than the last model year GMC Sierra because this is only a facelift. It's not an all new generation. And I'm pleasantly surprised by the whole AT4X driving experience because I absolutely loved the last generation Sierra and Silverado with this drivetrain. This is the 6.2 liter V8 engine with the 10 speed automatic transmission. That's the only engine that you can currently get in the AT4X. If you only get the regular AT4, you can also get GM's three liter inline six diesel, which I still have not yet driven, but I've heard very good things about. But this 6.2 liter V8 is one of my favorite truck engines, if not my favorite truck engine. It produces 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. So it's not quite as powerful as a Ford F-150 Raptor, but it's really good. It has a really smooth shifting 10-speed automatic transmission with really good stop-start. I typically hate stop-start on big trucks like this, but this operates very, very smoothly as does the 10 speed automatic transmission. It can sometimes be a little rough on the one to two shift, but every other shift after that is 
fantastic. I much prefer GM's calibration over Ford's with their 10 speed. It's actually the same transmission, but Ford and General Motors tune them very differently. And I think that General Motors does a much smoother job with it. In terms of power delivery, this thing is great. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot down here. Good noise. Not a lot of gaps in the power because the 10 speed has really good ratios. Again, good job GM on the tuning and the ratios there. Really good power delivery. You're never going to be wanting for power on this. Yes, a Ford F-150 Raptor will be quicker than this, but trust me, this is a really good amount of power and a really good drivetrain for everyday use. And speaking of everyday use, I I wanna point out that if you are shopping or cross shopping this between a Ford F-150 Raptor, this does tow more. This tows 8,900 pounds, whereas a Raptor um, only does about 700 less, so about 8,200 pounds. And this has a little bit of a higher payload capacity. You should be able to put around 1,420 pounds in the bed, whereas the Raptor uh, will do 110 pounds less. So just some stuff to consider. Now. Uh, the AT4X has some substantial upgrades over the AT4 trim that arrived a couple of years ago. We've got GM's new Multimatic DSSV spool valve dampers. Uh, so those are really comfy. I really enjoy the ride here. This is not as cloud-like as the Raptor. The Raptor has one of the best rides of any pickup truck, but this is very nice, especially considering we still have leaf springs out there in the back, um, not independent suspension like we get in the Ram 1500, not air suspension like you get in the Ram 1500. So I still think the Ram and the Raptor are a little bit more comfortable, but for having big, chunky mud terrain tires, I think that GMC did a really nice job here. Um, we do have a little bit of an increased suspension travel as well compared even to the AT4. We have about 50 millimeters in the front, uh, 25 millimeters in the back, giving you a little bit more ground clearance. We've got a two-speed transfer case with a front um, and our front and rear locking differential. You can either lock just the rear or you can lock both differentials at the same time. We've got uh, one pedal terrain mode as well. So if you're crawling over stuff and you don't wanna manage the throttle, modulate the throttle and the brake, you can just do this one pedal mode that is really cool. Unfortunately, due to my very busy schedule, I was checking out the Toyota Crown last week. I didn't have a chance to take this truck off-road, uh, but my colleague Ian Wright did. He was able to off-road this as well as the Chevy Silverado ZR2. Um, which is pretty similar to this in terms of spec. It also gets those really cool um, uh, dynamic spool valve dampers. And it's a very, very, very good rock crawler. It's not going to be able to do the same type of high speed Baja stuff that you're gonna be able to do in a Raptor or in a Ram TRX, but just keep that in mind when you're buying it. If you're not the sort of person that's gonna go 80 to 100 miles an hour off road, I would say you're going to be just fine with this AT4X. And I think the luxury and livability of this on a day-to-day -day basis, not necessarily off-road, makes it a really nice package. Now, since I've had this truck, GMC has also announced a version that will sit above this. Uh, there is a GMC Sierra AT4X AEV edition. That stands for American Expedition Vehicles. They're the ones that do the uh, Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. That's gonna get some really cool uh, steel bumpers, steel skid plates. It's gonna get 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler territory mud terrain tires. It's gonna have even more ground clearance than this regular AT4X and it gets some other interior and exterior tweaks as well. So if you're really looking for the most off-road off rated GMC Sierra, you're gonna to wanna to step up to that AEV edition. So that was the GMC Sierra AT4X. Pricing starts at just under $75,000, which means it's about 15 grand more than the standard AT4. It's about $5,000 less than the Denali Ultimate, the most luxurious version of the Sierra, and it's about $5,000 more than the base F-150 Raptor with the V6. Now, I think compared to the Raptor, you're obviously not going to be able to go as fast in the AT4X, but I think in terms of livability and luxury, this is in a really unique part 
part of the market. There are a lot of trucks, you know, you have the Ram 1500 Limited, you have the F-150 Lariat, you have a lot of trucks that do luxury, including the GMC Sierra Denali, but you don't have a lot of trucks that are like the AT4X, where they offer all of that luxury, massage seats, etc. but they also have the off-road chops. You get big off-road tires, a suspension lift, etc. So if you are looking for a truck that you can do off-roading with, but you don't want to sacrifice any of those luxury features, I think that GMC has hit a really unique part of the market with the AT4X, and there aren't a lot of trucks that are like this one. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to be alerted of our latest videos. And if you want to read more about the 2022 GMC Sierra AT4X, be sure to check out carbuzz.com. I'll see you next time.